Hey family, I'm headed off. Uh, good morning to you. I'm headed off to a job here uh, for my go clearing business. Um, I have about maybe five five sheep on the back, as well as about ten goats. So it's about 15 animals in the back in the trailer back there. <clears throat> and um, I have my, my dog as well. About nine uh, electric fence uh, extensions, 100 feet uh, per uh, piece. So I'm headed off to this property here that's nearby and I wanted to uh, start off this year with, you know, getting the business going. And so um, if you're in the area and you're looking to get some land that's, uh, that cannot be cut or cleared with equipment, uh, GOATS is a great way to do it. And so um, I'm headed off uh, to this location. Again, it's nearby and um, I'm going to have, have my ghost out there a couple of days. But if you're interested, you know, reach out to me on my page here. And, uh, and later on today, I'm going to try to film a, 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 me putting down the fence and introducing the goats to the, the new area that I want them to clear off. And then, um, and then we go from there. But thank you. So guys, here it is on, my ghosts have been out here for one whole day and they are doing some work here. What major there side of the tree there, over there. But my sheep are in here clearing it out. As you can see, they're cutting the tops off of this stuff. They're gonna run through it. It seems like they've been through most of the woods in the back and cleaned up those uh, the little brush that's in there. Um, but they are working through this. As you can see. Energizer. Still maybe a day or two left for them in this, this section here. They should have everything down. Yeah, some good rain last night. How many goats do I have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goats and five sheep are in this this section here. Again, it goes way in the back back there. So they still have a little ways to go, maybe a day or two, and they should be good to go. And we should be leaving this property. Good job. All right, fam. I'm out here for the last couple of days, about three days. And so I'm gonna show you the video of what it looks like. Um, it's around here. As you can see, they have ate all the limbs off this magnolia, this small magnolia tree. But as you go through the property here, everything is clean. This small little, you know, greenery still here. I'm not sure if that grew. That's why they were here. But as you can see, the part that they were able to get a hold to, they pretty much devoured it. As you see back there. My fence was not able to reach that area, so they did not get a chance to get back there and clean it. I didn't have a another fence to, maybe I need another 200 feet of fence to, to get back there, but as you can see, they have cleared everything down here. My truck is there, trailer is there. Everybody loaded up. And so I just wanted to walk through here and show you guys what has been I uh, devoured here. Let me walk down through here. So the fence was on the other side of this, this walkway right here. And so you can see everything in front of me is ate up. A lot of this other stuff is just dead weed. Let me walk down through here. So everybody's loaded up on the trailer there. They're in there. Let's go down through here. This is the main point that my client wanted me to get clear here. With this section over here, I mean, it had a lot of tall grass in here, swampy. So maybe the sun can get down in here and dry it out a little bit. As you can see, it's so wet down here, all in here. Good place for snakes to be. And I think that was the concern of the client. As you can see, this section here was ate up. There was tall stuff in here. I can't find the grass. I like that grass right there, but it's standing up. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, so. 
I'm gonna go for in this section. I couldn't put them right on the creek's edge here because the fence is electric and I didn't have any anchor spots for the sitting with this prone. So let me walk through here. As you can see, they have made everything up here. Three days worth. Pretty good. This is a dead tree right here. All the limbs fell off of it, so. Um, but it was just tall stuff like this right here. Stuff right here, but it was real tall. Real thick. They did what they had to do. And so, just wanted to show you guys what was going on. A GoPro is acting funny. I'm not sure why. It's enough battery. And memory left on it, so not sure. Um, so I'm using my phone. Well, let's go up to the trailer here. You can see my goats in there. Right. So everybody's in here. Relaxing. That's Major. Stallion. I got him tied to the side because he's, he's a headbutter. But everybody's in here chilling. Uh, they like fat. They've been eating pretty good. Hey, look at Major. Major. Hey, Major. Yeah, just wanted to show you what's going on on this property. If you know anybody in the area, I'm in Georgia, Fayetteville, Georgia. If you know anybody nearby that needs their property to be cleared like this in tough, marshy, rocky areas, um, just reach out to me. Uh, Kimberland Farm, you look, you can look me up at on Instagram at Kimberland Farm, Facebook, Kimberland Farm, and you can find the details as it relates to my number and so forth from there. All right, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm about to load up top with the customer and get up out of here. Have a good day.